everyone. In this video, we're going to cover the basic functionality found in the Fun Screener. To get there, hover over Tools, down to Fun Screener. And as this loads, if you want to start by opening up a save screen you've used before, you're just going to go up to the title here and click Open. And that way you can access any screen you might have worked on before. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. Likely, your first step will be to modify the fun universe. Here opens a pop-up of all the categories we can filter this fun universe by. In this example, I want to look for a growth fund that will give me exposure to Chinese equity, including a specific company. So for growth fund, I can find this under Perspectus Objective and click on Growth. Once I hit Submit, you'll see our fund universe has narrowed from 69,000 funds to just under 10,000 results. My next step will be to add a metric filter. As I mentioned, I'm looking for a China equity exposure, which we have as a metric. So in my range tab, I'm just going to type in China equity exposure, choose it out of the list. And then I'm going to set my exposure to be between 20, hit enter and then 75% and just hit enter to lock in that value. Then go ahead and hit submit. And this is going to return the hundred or so funds that have a growth prospectus objective, but also have exposure to China between 20 and 75%. Also for my funds, I want to make sure they have exposure to a specific security I have in mind. Let's say I want to make sure these funds have some exposure to Alibaba. I'll head over this time to add a filter next to the security exposure filters option. From here, you can type in the specific security name or the ticker if you know it. I'm just going to select that greater or equal to 5% and hit submit. Now that I've narrowed my list down to 27 funds, say I want to look at all of these funds year to date performance. I can add a column by going to add metric column here and then just search for the performance metric I want to add. So just type in year to date and I'm going to choose total returns. Then just go ahead and click submit. Now you can see from this list there are a few duplicates. Let's say I wanted to add the share class information for these funds. I'm going to go instead to add info column and then it should be under fund info share class. Then go ahead and hit submit again. And now you can see I have a table of my narrowed universe with the year to date returns and share class information all available for my analysis. Once I'm done, I can save these funds as a watch list. Just give it a name. Or I can save the whole screen down by going back up to the title and clicking Save As. That should do it for this basic tutorial of the Fun Screener. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to chat us during market hours or hover over Support, Contact Us and see the contact information for your dedicated support representative.